Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at Data Studio and smart content for your Genesis character. So we have a default character. If I'm selected on him and I'm in the Arts Wardrobe or Actors Wardrobe and Props tab, uh, you can see here uh, if I click on any one of these categories, there's a series of items that I can just apply right to the character even to the point where I can change the character completely into one of these presets that I've already created. So I'll kind of go through uh, a couple presets here. Maybe we'll put some clothing items on him real quick. So let's just put some pants on him, some shorts. So we'll put a tank top on him and then we'll put uh, some shorts and then we'll go to our characters and I'll apply this this is kind of a Bruce Lee character that I created and I saved him as a preset So just like that, there's my Bruce Lee type of character. And if I wanted to, I can click on this character and change him. And just like that, we have our female character. Maybe I don't like that clothing on her. Maybe I want to put a bikini on her. So now I can go to my scene tab and take off the boxers and the tankini so here now we have our female character and of course she needs clothing so we can go to hair click on the clothing and if you notice here this hair that I applied to her it says wearable it doesn't say hair and that's because this was an item that I applied to her and then I had to go to save as wearables and I saved it as a wearable so I could use it in my smart content so we could so let's say uh, there's an item that you've created an asset that you've created and you don't uh, you haven't uh, put it into a category yet so it's unassigned so here I have a guard that I created a long time ago and I'm gonna categorize him so I right click on him categorize when you use this window you don't want to check these boxes until you get to the folder that you want it to be in so I click default this is gonna be a character so it's people and this is a male character so I want to check that box. So I accept that and now my character should be here. Where is he? I might need to refresh so I can right click and refresh and there's my character. I'm not going to apply him. <laughs> so wardrobe, uh, yeah, this program just makes everything so easy that you can pretty much apply uh, it even if I scroll down I can look at just pants because that's how I categorize them uh, full body wear so uh, maybe I want to apply this Magus outfit so I had to save this whole Magus outfit as a wearable give it a second to res on her and just like that there's my magus and I think it came with hair too so if I go to my scene tab I can see all the different parts and I don't need the bikini anymore anymore and I don't need this hair so just like that I have new outfit on her so you can put together outfits and then go to your smart content tab and you can also categorize in the content library. 
So let's say I made a bunch of animations, because you can also save animations in here. See, we have all these different uh, animations that I've saved. And they're all categorized, of course. There's all mine. But let's say I've spent a bunch of time making all these uh, new animations or whatever. And so I've already added them to these to this folder, but they're not in, they're not categorized yet. So what I would do is I would just right click my main folder that I create all my animations in and I would go to create a category from this folder only or this folder and subfolders. So that's what I would do. I would take that, open it up, it would go right to where my main folder is and I'm going to save it right there and accept it. And it would take anything I added to any of these subfolders and add it to uh, my list of different animations. This tool is just uh, really handy for Genesis characters. Uh, it's kind of a must use feature. Thank God it's here because digging through the content folder or the content library is not fun. But uh, give your smart folder a try, and uh, it should make your life easier. Have a good one.